Rated T for Teen. If I can see someone that acts like me, talks like me, dances like me, I'm more likely to be more comfortable in who I am self-esteem wise. The process is actually fascinating and really fun because we all come in with opinions. No, I want this character and I want this character. We're sort of fighting for, they're not really like specific characters, they're really more like archetypes. We don't want to be too specific because we don't want to disrespect any culture, but um, we do want to show that there are different styles of dance. We want every character to sort of have their own personality, their own look, their own style. Um, you want them to draw from the world of dance. Anybody in their city can identify with these crews. As a dancer, we dance in crews. Usually you team up with dancers who dance similar, same style, same swag like we say. I think we did actually you know, come up with something that is unique and unexpected. The idea of crew stemmed from like the core gameplay Im improvement that we wanted to make this time, which was a two-player experience. And now that we have two people in the real world dancing in front of Connect, it makes more sense to have two people in a crew up on screen. We paired up people that, you know, were actually quite different from each other. Um, but complemented each other uh, in, in a way that, you know, was a little more fun and unique than just going with, you know, two, two of the same characters. So we have Riptide crew, which is Bodhi and Amelia. Bodhi is, I don't know, he, he's like the sporty character. He's kind of our surfer dude, uh, but more the, like, positive older brother type. Bodhi, I'll meet you. We're going on a date. Amelia is like the real athletic you know, hyped up, and she'll get you, you know, excited just to be doing the dances, but still in a very athletic way. And then we have uh, Lush Crew, which is Angel and Aubrey, and they're on the yacht venue. They're both returning characters. Miss Aubrey is back. She's great, she's so funny. Um, she's a lot nicer this time around. You know, we got to redo new clothing for them, some new hair, give them sort of like new, some new personalities. We try to play up their uh, particular relationship a little bit. I get compared for some reason to Angel. I don't know if it's like the whole Spanish thing, but I did do his voice, so we do have a connection. We have Flash Forward, which is Tay and Little T. Your girl Tay comes back. And she has a little different look, but she's still here. Tay's little sister, Little T. She's got a lot of attitude. She's a fresh one. Tay and Little T are like the demographic that I'm used to seeing, you know, and some of the dancers I work with who are very animated, like, all right, and all extra and stuff like that. And they're the ones that, you know, can make you step up your game. If they don't think that you're hot, they'll let you know, like, you tried it, you're not gonna beat us, like very animated, so I can relate to the around the way girl. And then we have high def, which is uh, Mo and Glitch. We, we ain't getting rid of Mo, we love Mo. Mo's like one of the top favorites. Mo has a little friend and we call him Glitch, and he is amazing, he's one of my favorites. He's like a prodigy or dance genius, I don't, I don't know, he's really good hair. Glitch is uh, a kid, like a younger kid. I think we have him as like a 14 year old. He's like a little tech sort of whizzy guy and he's a sort of a pop and lock break dancer. My favorite crew is like a whole new duo. Uh, they're very dynamic. They are just sexy and different and mysterious and like rebels, um, which is glitterati. Uh, they just they just scream sexiness, and I love it. <laughs> they're twins. It's Kareth and Jaren. I don't know which one is the boy and which one is the girl. The glitterati are like sort of these aloof, high fashion characters that. Um, they're kind of scary though, and they're really, they're sort of like a, the boss of the game. If you try to battle them, you'll lose. Like, don't get it twisted. They still can do um, pop and locks and all of that stuff. Uh, for the most part, we try to keep the characters friendly and encouraging and providing positive feedback. But we, we couldn't use the same attitude for all the characters in Cruise. 
um, and still have a, a campaign that really felt fulfilling in any way. So we needed, we needed some assholes, and Kareth and Jaren provide that. I like your outfits. Are you clowns of some sort? They are extremely sassy. Basically, Dance Central 2 is just a good times mobile.